Hello, my name is Eduardo. I'm a solutions architect with Amazon Web Services. Today I have here with me Sanjay from IBM. Hello, Sanjay. Hello. Hello, my name is Sanjay Doifore. I'm a principal solutions architect with IBM. So Sanjay, I wanted to take some time to talk to you today about uh, observability, right? And uh, specifically about IBM in Stana. So we have many customers that are, you know, bringing their workloads to AWS or building new workloads on AWS. And they are, you know, modernizing applications, moving into microservices architectures. And some of these customers, they are looking at ways that they can optimize the monitoring and have a, an end-to-end -end observability solution for their workloads. And so I was curious to know, how can IBM and Stana help these customers mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, to, to gain this, to accomplish this full observability solution uh, on their applications? Sure. So IBM and Stana, it's a fully automated uh, performance monitoring solution. It's available as SaaS on uh, Amazon uh, uh, Marketplace. Uh, what Instana does, it helps customers address the challenges of monitoring microservices and cloud native applications mm -hmm. in real time. Okay. And it, it uses AI to provide detailed insights into the health and behavior of applications. So we see normally that uh, when you look at uh, different uh, APM solutions, you know, we normally see uh, intervals of we're talking about minutes of intervals, right, between the, the time that it collects data. So uh, when you're talking about Instana being in real time, like uh, what's the frequency by which Instana can collect data? Uh, Instana can collect at one second interval. Oh, okay. okay? And it basically optimizes the performance and it quickly identifies issues and helps troubleshooting. Oh, okay. That's uh, pinpoint to the root cause. Now, you said that Instana is available as a SaaS on AWS, but I presume that then the customers, they have to deploy some kind of agent on their own AWS account so that exactly. they can collect data, right? Right. So if we take a look here, so you have Instana agents that can be installed on AWS. So for example, on EC2, EKS, Amazon ECS, on Red Hat on OpenShift uh, service on AWS called Rosa, but they can also be installed on your corporate uh, on-premise database servers, so uh, application can, servers. And you can have a complete view of your ecosystem, right? You have some application that's talking to something, a hard application on AWS talking right. to a database, uh, DB2, MQ on-prem. Yep, you can exactly. have that complete view, right? Yep, so your uh, agents can provide data. Uh, so your uh, normal corporate <coughs> on-prem systems are talking to AWS, but they can also provide that data from the on-prem to ah, the okay. Instana control plane, and then the control plane is again talking to the uh, to the agents, agents on AWS. On okay. Agent. Now, when you deploy the agents on on AWS, um, how do you configure it, or what do you need to do with the agents to be able to monitor things that uh, your microservice architecture are using, right? Because there are over two hundred different services on AWS, so there might be microservices using DynamoDB, others using uh, R Amazon RDS, uh, right. Amazon uh, MSK, which is our managed Kafka solution. Right. So how is it that Instana agent uh, detect those things and uh, how do you monitor those different services? Uh, you're right. So based on a particular service, you need to monitor certain metrics. So uh, Instana uses different kinds of sensors. Okay. So it, uh, it has an access to a sensor repository. So for example, if you're monitoring a database, the metrics that you monitor for a database will be different from, uh, say, um, an, a Java program, right? Uh, or MSK service, right? So it basically, the, the agents utilize these sensors to collect data. Okay, so as it detects the different uh, technologies that need to be monitored, then it's going to automatically install these sensors from the sensor repository, correct? Exactly, yeah. Okay. And if you, uh, you know, let's take a look at all the different AWS services that it can monitor. So for example, AWS Lambda, DynamoDB, S3, SQS, Aurora, MSK. And these are just some examples, right? These are some, just examples. And it does that using uh, Amazon CloudWatch and um, Amazon APIs. Okay. okay. So some of this data then goes to the CloudWatch, and from there it, 
is picked up by Instana agents. Okay. Uh, but you can also uh, monitor uh, data from non-IBM, non-AWS services. So, for example, Rosa, MQ, uh, or IBM DB2. Oh, okay, so if you have like a, uh, an open shift like a Rosa and IBM MQ, IBM DB2, or other products from third-party vendors or other IBM software on AWS, you can also monitor these with the Instana sensors and the Instana agent. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, that's it. Now, what are some of the different uh, uh, monitoring data that Instana collects from these services? Yeah, so uh, let's talk about the, the control plane, for example, okay. right? So on the control plane, you, there are a few components. One is the data collectors. So we talked about the agents and the sensors. So those data is collected and stored into the Instana backend for further analysis. Now there's an analytics engine that is uh, utilized, the, the data collected by these agents, uh, it can provi uh, provide information about the performance of the workloads that are uh, that are uh, being monitored. Okay. Then you have a UI portion here, and that basically helps you create uh, perspectives, application perspectives. Okay. So Instana provides a blueprint of different uh, pre-built perspectives. So you can utilize those, or you can customize them. Okay. So for example, if if you have the, developers that are interested in looking at how their application is behaving, they can view the perspective that shows their uh, workload ecosystem with the different microservices that belong to that. Exactly. Uh, as opposed to, for example, of, uh, somebody from a database background, they're more interested in what's happening on the backend databases, so you can have that perspective, microservices perspective, or you can have a cross-team perspective. Okay. So then I presume that to to... Instana as, as an APM solution, you know, to give this complete view of uh, how the microservices are behaving, it's combining different sets of data together, right? So I presume things like log traces and CPU metrics, things like that, right? Exactly. So it uses uh, beacons. So the beacons are basically provide uh, information to the agents uh, what what's happening in the system, for example, right? Uh, then traces is. Uh, transactions or information that's happening between uh, applications, microservices, okay. right? Uh, one thing uh, that also I forgot to mention on the uh, on the control plane is there's a database storage. So it uses a time series database. Oh yeah, because so, you mentioned it's a one second interval. So exactly. Exactly. Time series. Database. Yeah. So okay. you can utilize that time series database to really analyze uh, in real time what is happening, how your system is performing, where a particular uh, issue is happening. Now, as you said, this perspective can be built to show the, the uh, an equal, uh, a workload made of several microservices, and you get this entire view. Can, can, can developers also zoom into specific components to understand the behavior of those components and easily identify a root cause of a problem or a bottleneck? Yes, yes. So that's that's the beauty from uh, from that application perspective. You see, uh, some some part of that architecture is whatever not performing uh, according to you know their set standard. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely deep dive, go up to the lowest point in that particular ecosystem to figure out where the problem is. Okay, that's interesting. Now, when you mentioned that the agents here they send the data back to the control plane, the standard control plane. Uh, I presume that's that's a secure connection, right? That's all. That's definitely that's all okay. secure connections. Now, let's say if you detect a problem, like uh, there is an outage or there is a performance impact, you know, performance degradation on an on an application. Uh, do you have any? Does Instana provide any kind of integrations into into known paging systems or yes. uh, uh, management systems that helps uh, you know create problem tickets, incident tickets, and things like that. Yeah, Instana has third-party uh, uh, you know integration with third-party tools like Slack, PagerDuty, and ServiceNow, and it provides a seamless uh, you know like a incident and alerting system. Okay, that's very interesting. So. Based on what we see here, you are able to build a, a complete observability solution for your microservices using IBM Instana SaaS on AWS to monitor your workloads on AWS, but also your on workloads on-premise. Okay. That's right. That's very cool. Thank you, Sanjay. Really great talking to you today. Thank you, Eduardo.
Thanks Thank everyone. you all. See you next time.